won't be easy to make it seaworthy again. No, I'm not digging that up again. I don't need a Zompai phone. That's... Ha! Huh, that's definitely Fate's underwear. She was here. I'm on the right track. But that could also be part of the sale. No, these are freshly worn. I have a keen sense of smell. I wish I could doubt that. But where did she go? No, I'd rather do my falling down at Lefty's. Hi. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That you're not Pitfall Harry? No, but I am Pitfall Larry. There's a G on the column. That looks impenetrable. Oh, come on. When has a thick bush ever stopped you? Hey, which one of us does the dirty jokes? Larry, equal rights. So that's what it's coming to. Well, then, I guess I'll plunge into the jungle. There won't be any snakes there, right? No. The spiders ate them all. Spiders? They're just as scared of you as you are of them. But they have more legs and eyes. Okay, nothing for it. Pretty dark here. Oh, I just touched something slimy. Now is not the time for you to fiddle around with your hand in your pants. Very funny. What did I just step on? Nothing to be afraid of. If it was an aggressive animal, it would have bitten off your foot by now. I... I, I can't see anything anymore. The jungle is... It, it's so dense... It, who, what was that? Who? I'm gonna die here! Oh, I'm gonna die in this jungle! Bury me at the bend of the river. Tell my unborn children. <laughs> oh! What a coincidence. I was just about to point out to you that there's a hotel here and you don't have to die. How long have you known about this place? Oh, only since we got to the island. Can you call up any information about this hotel? Today's Kalua Resort and Spa Hotel was opened in 1982 as the Brezhnev Oasis. It was considered a popular holiday destination for high-ranking Soviet military personnel and their families. Rumors of a secret KGB base on the island are just vicious propaganda spread by the capitalist West. So that's what it says about the hotel on the internet? Yes. Then I'm sure it's correct. I should head into the hotel. I bet there's lots of hot chicks walking around in the spa. You're looking for Faith, Larry. She's one hot chick, too. Yeah. I'm not tearing that off. I can't reach the bottom of the well with my hand. No, it would end up tipping over. Locked. I can't hop there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Why, why wouldn't I be okay? I'm doing just fine. Why are you grinning like that? I'm not grinning. Yes, you are. No. Okay, you're not grinning. That's what I said. 
Uh, you've got some white stuff in your mustache, too. Oh, uh, uh, that's flour. I just, uh, bake some bread rolls. I love fresh bread rolls. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Hello, Larry. My name's Kip. You're the bellhop? Not just that. Want me to get you a little pick-me-up? You mean... Red gummy bears. Are you insane? You sort those out and throw them in the shredder. Otherwise, they combine at night and form a single gigantic gummy bear. Uh, sure. But what I actually meant was... Oh, forget it. You're not the type. What is this hotel? This place used to be the most popular holiday destination for the richest people in the Soviet Union. They all flew here to have a good time. Here they had everything they wanted. Total luxury. But that was a while ago. So what happened? In the 90s, this disgusting real estate shark from the USA wanted to buy everything and bring it all up to date. He had a ton of companies working here, but never paid their bills, and everything blew up. Then he wanted to turn it into a casino. Instead, a businesswoman from around here bought the whole island and proclaimed herself governor. She's been trying to make the hotel a hip place again for a few years, but between you and me, without success. What's her name? And where can I find her? Bobby Marley. She's usually in her office upstairs. You can take the elevator up to her. Have you seen a pretty blonde named Faith around here? We had a pretty blonde here a few weeks ago. I don't know her name because she didn't even know it herself. That could be Faith. Is she still here? Haven't seen her for a while. Maybe the boss lady knows more. Damn, I have to find out where she is. I think I lost my raft in the storm. You came here on a raft? Yeah, from Camp Come. Damn, that's a long way away. What can I say? I'm just a real sea dog. Okay, that'll do me for now. So I'm supposed to talk to this Bobby Marley. Maybe she knows where Faith is. Now, where's that elevator? I'm here. There's nothing there to take. Say, what's the deal with that box? It's the key to the toilet in the jungle. And where's the key now? I lost on the beach somewhere. Where exactly? Somewhere down by the rosy palms. There aren't any rosy palms. Then I don't remember. Pulling on it won't help. I'd have to open the lock first. I'm sure I could get a few notes out of it, but it's occupied. So I'm supposed to talk to this Bobby Marley. Maybe she knows where Faith is. Now, where's that elevator? Control, come in. Yan Mai reporting. Yes, Yan Mai? Where are you? The signal from Faith's Python was lost in a storm, but it turned up on an archipelago, but then the signal disappeared. Did you find Faith? No, she's not here. But a man showed up at the signal's source. A man? Hmm. He seems to have grabbed Faith's spy phone. Maybe he knows what happened to Faith. Keep a close eye on him. We'll get results faster if I use my award-winning interrogation techniques. I just have to be careful not to use the thigh squeezer right away. That guy in the white suit looks like he'd break in half if I did. Not yet, but if it should prove necessary. Confirmed. Have you ever rubbed one of your interrogation subjects down with cream and then had Mongolian cows lick it off? Uh, no. Would that maybe be a thing? Uh, I'll think about it when I find a Mongolian cow. Uh, 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 uh. my out. Hmm, although that's not such a bad idea. Yes, what is it? Hi, um... Are you the new pianist? Good thing I can't take Lewis's tinkling away at the keyboard any longer. Uh, or are you the new waiter? Uh, 
We'll definitely have to do something about the outfit. I... Wait, is that a wedding suit? Do you want to get married here? Oh, I... So what the hell do you want? My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Well, I'm Bobby Marley, governor of Kahlua and owner of this hotel. I was stranded here on my raft. After the storm, we found a pile of dirt and junk on the beach. We had to evacuate the area and some guests got a rash while bathing in the sea. So you're responsible for this? Was the junk pile kind of raft shaped? So you admit it. Well, I kind of lost control of the steering in that hurricane. Then by the power of my office, I am forced to condemn you. What? You deliberately polluted the waters of Kahlua. The garbage you brought here has already been collected and recycled. In addition, you are hereby fined $10,000. Until such time as you have paid this amount, you will not be allowed to leave the island. Where can I lodge a complaint? With me. I want to lodge a complaint. Lodged. I'm looking for a woman named Faith. Doesn't sound familiar. Tall and blonde and she's totally into me. Well, at least the first bit rings a bell. She was also washed up after a storm. I put her up in a room here. I felt sorry for her, but then she disappeared without a trace. I don't know what happened to her. Damn, but Faith was here. She must have left some traces on this island. So I'm trapped on the island, fined, and my rats being held for ransom? If you want to sum it up like that. Um, maybe I could pay the fine some other way? We already have enough dishwashers. Then I guess I'll head out and try to find the money. Just one moment. What? Since you're here anyway, I'm really under a lot of stress at the moment, and it's been a long time since I've had a gentleman here for a visit, if you know what I mean. You want to talk about soccer? Do you know anything about soccer? No, that's just something for Europeans. Okay, you seem to be the kind of person one has to be direct with. My loins are ready to receive your lance in an act of fiery passion. Will you join with me in wild bestial sex? Does sex have a different meaning on this island than in New Lost Wages? On Kahlua, it means that we both undress, take each other in our arms, explore every square inch of each other with our tongues, until finally our hot, sweaty bodies. Right. No misunderstanding. Hang on a minute. There's something wrong here. What? Usually women want me to do something for them before they have sex with me. Do you want me to get you something to eat first, or something? Or do I have to fix something? Do I have to deliver a letter to the other end of the world for you before you get naked? Uh, stop talking and get over here. Baby, that was... delicious, with a pleasant finish. If you think so. You were... okay. Come back in a few hours and we can pick up where we left off. What? Again? You mean you can't? I'm always ready and able. Then everything's fine. So, uh... I guess my debt with you is all squared off now, huh? What, did you slip me the cash during sex? Apparently not. But, I mean, <laughs> I made you happy. Uh, doesn't that count? You can go now. Come back with the money and remember that you can't leave the island. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel now. Please think about it outside. Headquarters. Yanmai? Did you find out anything about the man? He went to see the island's governor. I listened at the door and heard him ask about Faith. Excellent. Uh, anyway, where is Faith now? Apparently, the governor doesn't know either. I'm going to stick close to this Larry guy. And when he finds her, I'll strike. But what's the deal with this Larry guy? Why is he looking for Faith? I'll find out 
But one thing is certain. He seems to have an irresistible charm and excellent seduction skills. He managed to get the governor into bed with just a few words. He could be a secret agent. One of the best. Fascinating. Keep me in the loop without faith. We'll never find that algorithm. Yan Mai, out. Wait! Yes? Have you ever obtained a confession by tickling the soles of a prisoner's feet with a kakapo feather? I can't remember ever having done that before. Remind me to send you a kakapo. Filthy little biters. I'm looking forward to that. Larry, tell me, why did you just let her jump you like that? Well, I mean, I just wanted to be nice. Aren't you supposed to be looking for faith? Tell me. Are you jealous? Not in the least. All right, then. The Cougar update has just completed. All apps are now available as usual. New feature, you can now talk to me whenever you want. Just start the newly installed Pi app. Nice. So you can't play deaf anymore when I want to talk to you. Sure looks that way. That should provide me with some interesting information. Good idea, but that won't work. I'd recognize a pair of Faith's panties anywhere. An information brochure about the island. Here are some boring facts about the archipelago's history. Lots of nice photos that seem to be pretty old. And some information about the flora here. A rare, highly bioluminescent fungus, which greatly reduces the heart rate when you eat it, grows somewhere here in the archipelago. It seems the orchids here are all pretty poisonous. Only one species, with a single blue flower and pointed leaves, doesn't kill you the moment you touch it. I don't even want to know what kind of dangerous animals they have here. Nice piano. It's not mine. I figured as much. Oh, what, so I look like I don't own a piano? Huh? I'm just kidding. I'm Lewis. Technically, I'm the hotel's resident comedian. Ha uh ha. -huh. I wasn't meant to be funny. Oh, OK. Do you enjoy working here? Nah, I wish I could have stayed in New Lost Wages. I was a big deal there. Then why are you here? Political correctness. You can't say anything these days. No one has a sense of humor anymore. You can't even entertain young women from the audience naked in your dressing room. What? Then they tell you that kind of thing is inappropriate and then chase you out of town. Now I have to start all over again. So you're actually a comedian? Got it in one. What's your stage name? Lewis. But that's your real name. Yep, pretty slick, huh? Tell me a joke. Not now. I gotta finish my shift at the piano first. Didn't they have a pianist here? He got shot. Enough laughing already. You don't sweat much for a fat dude. In this sweltering heat, I do. Nobody here knows how to adjust the air conditioning. I have to figure it out myself. to get going. Don't touch. Hey, Bobby? What's up, Larry? How am I supposed to pay off the fine now? Come up with the money? 
and you're a free man. But I don't have that much money, and I have to get off the island. Tough luck, Larry. There aren't any other ships sailing the area at the moment, either. Hardly anyone has dropped anchor here since that whole debacle with the festival. The what? Some guy showed up on the island a couple of weeks ago, said he wanted to change things. He had a ton of ideas on how to make this island the biggest attraction in the South Seas. Good idea. But he said he needed to attract a target group that would otherwise never see the light of day. Some sci-fi nerds. He called it a galactic festival. <laughs> what a loser. I should have known that wouldn't work. Weren't there any sponsors? He said he wanted to have it sponsored after the fact. I should have suspected something at that point. No, if that was all it had been. He brought all kinds of influencers, big and small, to the island. Promised them a unique, exotic, galactic festival. But he managed to totally screw it all up. No decent tents, not enough beds, rotten food, adulterated booze. When all the influencers got here, they thought that they would be seeing hit bands and big stars. But then there were only actors from some cheesy, low-budget movies. Who would ever have suspected that a supporting actor from Orangu Raptor versus Murano just wouldn't be that exciting? And that's when the rioting started. At least the tents didn't burn that long. The next day, everyone was evacuated. Except for this one influencer a travel blogger. Now she's complaining about everything and, and really ruining the hotel's reputation. She only gave us two stars on Gulp and that is affecting our bookings. I don't know what her problem is, but I can't kick her out either because she insists on getting everything this guy promised her at the festival. If I ever get my hands on him again. Who was it? The guy who ran that tech company, BJ. Oh. You know him. We're so tight. What? Really? Well, we have a certain history. But you're not in cahoots with him? No way. Okay. If you can take care of that travel blogger, we're even. Just make sure she gives us the full five stars on Gulp. Right. I'll take care of it. How do I get my raft back? I don't care. Emma takes care of all the junk that washes up here. I have to be going. Go ahead, take one, Larry, as a reward for the union of our flesh earlier. Wow, thanks. It won't open. Can I take the snake? It's dead, isn't it? Go ahead. But be careful, this species is notorious for its ability to hold a lot of poisonous venom even after death. Everything you need for a hearty hangover breakfast. Can I have some of that? I think I'm gonna have a hangover soon too. Help yourself. It won't open. I'm not sticking my hand in there. It'll get wet and I might get bit. I don't need to touch that. That looks good hanging right where it is. I don't want to juice my hand or any other part of my body, at least not with this. I'll take one. If I untie that pig, it'll bite my arm off. Everybody knows pigs do that. Nasty animals unless they're barbecued. I like blue. Mm. 
No appetite, thanks. No, disgusting. A meat fork. Don't leave home without it. Why does this make me want to poke something? Hmm, those two things won't work together. Those can't be combined. That won't help. Good idea, but that won't work. I really don't need any coffee right now. I'm pretty sure that beach isn't entirely real. I'd better not put anything in there. I'd better not put anything. This is where the juice comes out. And you managed to say that without a hee hee. Amazing. I don't want to juice my hand or any other part of my body. At least not with this. I prefer my juicers female. <laughs> and you just let me get away with that pie. Pure distilled exasperation. Now I have a one-eyed snake and a two-eyed snake in my trousers. <laughs> and they're both equally limp. Those two... Freshly pressed is always the best. Juicy and... I really don't need any coffee right now. I'll take one. I already have... I'm afraid if I try to go to that beach, I'll end up with a bloody nose. There's nothing there to say. What's the deal with that box? It's the key to the toilet in the jungle. And where's the key now? I lost it on the beach somewhere. Where exactly? Somewhere down by the rosy palms. There aren't any ro- Then I don't remember. Uh... Yes, yes? Can you turn on the air conditioning? I would, but something's wrong with the electronic controls. Can't you fix it? Do I look like the kind of guy who should be allowed near a power line? Excellent point. Do you have the key to the bathroom in the jungle? I lost it on the beach somewhere. Where exactly? Somewhere there. Oh, then I don't remember. I'll just be going now. Yeah, absolutely, man. We've met before. Ah, I was wondering. At least once in a previous life, for sure. I mean, the universe has a plan. Uh, what's your name? I'm Pip, man. Yeah, for sure, man. I hear you, man. Your name wouldn't happen to be Kip, would it? Hey, do I look that stressed out or what? I really gotta do something about that. Oh no, that'd be stressed too. I'm Pip. Kip is my twin brother. Total drag. All he thinks about is his career. How do you get so relaxed? 
You gotta smoke the right stuff. Menthol? No. Anyway, I can live without it, thanks. You're a loss. I got a split, man. Peace, yo.